Good day, everyone. Seeds, as we all know, are usually very small. Each small seed contains a very large dose of possibility and hope, however. This coming Sunday, the gospel speaks of seeds and the seed that is mentioned in particular is the mustard seed. Father David Garcia says this about mustard bushes, and I quote, a mustard bush was actually considered a weed. The gospel passage allows the bush to flourish and birds to come. Birds many times can be the enemies of crops since they eat them. Also, the mustard seed is rejected since it is an invasive species, which no one ever wants. Besides the fact that it provides shelter to birds that destroy crops. In the story, God wants what no one else wants. God wants the rejected, the otherwise unwelcome are made welcome. This gospel passage helps to create an image of God's kingdom where all are meant to live in solidarity. In other words, there is always room for everyone." Unquote. So our responsibility is to make things better for all. We live in an imperfect world and each of us is imperfect. God is loving and merciful to us and he inspires us to do good if we remain open to what he asks. In other words, Christianity lived day by day is made up of small acts of kindness enacted by people who are filled with faith and who come together to pray and live the gospel, forming a community that makes a difference. God counts on us to be his hands and hearts on this earth, to change others and our world one person, one kindness, one loving deed at a time. So many saints before us have striven to live this little way. Saint Therese of Ligier and Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta are two of the most prominent. I will close with some words of wisdom from each of them. From Saint Therese, miss no opportunity to offer a smiling look, a kindly word, always doing the smallest deed right and doing it all for love. Mother Teresa, peace begins with a smile. There are no great things, only small things done with love. If you judge people, you have no time to love them. I wish each of you a very blessed week.